The only difference on this unit here is it's a package unit or a test facility. And we're going to test the flame sensor on the package unit. Exactly the same way that we tested the furnace. And we did the furnace a few minutes ago. Okay. Uh, the flame sensor is down there. I've got a jumper wire right now currently going to it. It goes through. And I'll shine a flashlight on it to kind of give you a little better view of it. So you can see the, the flame sensor there in the back. It's got the that the uh, wire goes to and it sticks over into the flame. Got a jumper wire. goes back up through. Runs through series. Goes through my meter. Comes back down and it attaches to the wire that would regularly go to it. Now I'm just going to run it through its cycle, flip it into heat. Deucer motor should come on. I'll leave the back lid on so it's a little easier to read. Deucer motor's running. A little noisy, but uh, running good. Going through a spark. Flame is lit. Flame sensor sensing. And we're getting 1.2.0, 1.7, This one could be cleaned. This one has not been cleaned since we uh, took it out of service. Um, it's a 16-year-old unit, and we put another unit in at a higher efficiency. So this flame sensor could be cleaned. Uh, I'll go ahead and clean it. And then uh, we'll retest it and see what we come up with. Uh, read 2.5, it'd be better for reading closer to 3.5 to 4. Uh, so we'll clean it and see what we get. Okay, I removed the flame sensor, and as you can see, it's uh, pretty dirty and rusty. We'll go ahead and polish her up and stick her back in. And uh, let's see what kind of reading we get when we're done. Okay, I've cleaned the flame sensor. It's nice and polished now. You can see how shiny it is. Um, we should get a better flame sense now, so we should be able to see a lot better reading, a uh, higher reading, so that we don't have this thing shutting off because we're not getting good flame retrification through there and allowing current to flow. Okay, we have the flame sensor polished, put back in. Everything's plugged in. Deucer motor came on. See what kind of reading we're going to get out of this. We're reading zero. I've got the flame sensor back in place. Jumper wires is going through the meter. The burners have ignited. I'm going to watch the burners, make sure that they're looking good on the flame. Everything looks good there. Go up. Now look at our reading, 4.3, wow, quite a difference, quite a difference in microamps from a clean to a dirty flame sensor, quite a difference, it just doubled just by cleaning that flame sensor. And the blower come on, that makes it look good, Let's look at our burners again, make sure that everything's clear, all right. Clean flame sensor, should work good, should last quite a while longer, doesn't need to be replaced, just clean.